And now, your Midday Arklamas News Update. Good Friday afternoon. Thanks for tuning in to NBC News Daily. I'm Randy Stone with your Midday Arklamas Update. In a health alert, Senator John Kennedy is pushing his latest bipartisan bill to help cap the cost of insulin. The bill would cap the cost at $35, even for the uninsured. Kennedy has tried to bring this bill in other forms in the past, but has not been able to get it through. About 14% of the adult population have diabetes and could really benefit from this legislation. We're negotiating the cost, but it'll cost several billion dollars over 10 years. Um, and I'm not going to just go borrow the money to pay for it. We're going to have to find the money within the budget, but it'll help a lot of people. The financial offset for this bill is still set to be decided, and Kennedy is partnering with Democratic Senator Raph Warnock on the legislation. Out of Arkansas Thursday, the Arkansas Museum of Natural Resources hosted a joint committee on energy. A committee of 10 state senators and 15 representatives were in South Arkansas. The meeting began with a tour of the Museum of Natural Resources and Smackover. Joint members soaked in the rich history of oil in Union County and got a first-hand view of the impact oil and Breen has made on South Arkansas. Members then got to work discussing their social expense ratifications, our community's efforts to save the Sparta app war and more. So, so we're going to be talking about a lot of things over the course of the two days, uh, one of which is, is groundwater re recovery with the Sparta aquifer and why that's important not only just to the environment but to the industry that, that utilize a lot of water um, and so how they've been able to restore the, the Sparta aquifer um, and utilize more river water than pulling out of the actual aquifer. So uh, a lot of important discussions. We're going to be touring a power station um, later. Uh, we're going to be going to um, couple of different industries um, tomorrow. So really excited to, to let our members learn more about what we're doing down here in South Arkansas and what, uh, from an energy perspective, what South Arkansas brings to the table. Well, the committee plans to join El Dorado's mayor today at the El Dorado Conference Center, 8 a.m. Topics they plan to cover include the city, city's energy capabilities, including solar and wind. And now, Storm Tracker Doppler weather with meteorologist Chase Ward. We're still expecting some isolated showers and thunderstorms as we go into this afternoon. It will stay mostly spotty and we'll see most of it stay really in southern Arkansas, but just maybe a few patches here across northeast Louisiana. As we go into this evening, we'll see a little bit of clearing by 10 and midnight tonight. We'll be mostly clear, temperatures getting down to the lower 80s, and we'll be in the mid 70s. Once we we'll be at midnight tonight, but just a few clouds to kick off tomorrow morning. Expecting a high of 93 degrees for today here in Monroe for our afternoon. We'll see rain chances overall around 30%, and winds will stay mainly out of the west. For tonight, We'll see a low of 75 degrees. Again, most of the clouds will be on out of here. It'll be mostly clear after midnight, and we'll see rain chances just around 10% winds staying out of the south. And for tomorrow, we'll see a high of 95 degrees. Rain chances can be around 30%. Most of these storms will remain spotty and isolated as winds stay out of the southwest. As we look at the seven-day forecast, rain chances will stay persistent as we go into this weekend and also through next week, but it will kind of help keep those temperatures on the cooler side, mainly just around the lower 90s, and we could even see upper 80s as we go into Monday for daytime highs as the pattern is going to stay unsettled looking long term. But by the time we get towards Wednesday and Thursday of next week, rain chances begin to taper off and that's when temperatures begin their climb back to the mid 90s and we could even see some upper 90s by Thursday and Friday of next week. We'll see our lows stay generally in the lower to mid 70s. Well, all six mayors in Lincoln Parish were under the same roof on Thursday, and no politics was not the topic of discussion. Those mayors were there to purchase their 150th Lincoln Parish anniversary coin. Coins black and gold on one side for Grambling State University, and the other side is red and blue for Louisiana Tech. Coins can be purchased for $20. T-shirts can also be purchased. Those are $25 at Cotton Top on Park Avenue in Ruston. And that's going to do it for our update today on Friday. NBC News Daily continues now. Take care of your pets and neighbors during this weather, heat and rain, and also be kind to each other. God bless you.